And eventually, that's what developed. Cookbook! And so she went to therapy for months to heal from this. Remember, she can't speak openly about it because YouTube, it doesn't want us to talk about these things. Coach Greg, and today you got to bear with me. This is the best camera setup I could get. We're evacuated from our home. We don't know how many days or weeks we can't go back to our home. There's forest fires everywhere, but I'm bringing you a new video anyway. She made so many mistakes and she wants you to avoid falling for the same things that she did. And so in today's video, let's watch all the things she did wrong, the mistakes she made, the things she fell for so that you don't fall into the same trap and you can have a healthier journey than last time. Okay, here we go. First day at the gym. Several months later. Huh. I see no difference. Don't expect to go to the gym and make the same night and day transformations that you see on social media. Remember, those transformations are the best of the best, the creams of the crop. And so it's not normal to go to the gym and in three months suddenly look like Michael Hearn. And her journey, well, it resulted in an ED, not a problem with the downstairs, but something else, you know, a problem with how you eat. And what we're seeing over and over is people developing number three. Number one, you go to the bathroom, you pee. Number two, you go to the bathroom and you poop. Number three, you go to the bathroom and you lose weight, but it's in another method that we're not allowed to talk about on YouTube. Oh, how dare you talk about that? Nick Akato is allowed to eat 10,000 calories in a cheat meal, but I can't talk about the problems people are having when they diet. There's girl Nikki in the background. It might remind you of the videos of old when I had just a little camera, and so that's what I'm doing. There's literally nine animals here right now. This one video will save you three years worth of time. And so I think it's worth the time to watch one video in order to save you three years worth of headaches. You hungry, Gert? That pig weighs 200 pounds. I could barely lift her into the G-Wagon to drive away from the forest fires. Heavier than last time. Most mistakes I made this year were pretty typical. I used to think I couldn't start going to the gym until I had all these special gadgets. You don't need to buy all the best equipment in the world to go to a fancy gym or to do any of that. If you're starting your fitness journey, just get up and move, whatever that may be. Whether it's going for a walk or training at home, doing calisthenics, just move. You don't have to do anything perfect. And if you go to the gym and you don't know how to do any of the exercise properly, well, just fool around. You can watch on YouTube videos how to learn the exercises, or of course you could hire a trainer, or go to the gym with a friend. But the worst thing you can do is not to start the gym right now thinking, oh, I'll start later. Once I get the equipment, once I save up enough money to hire a coach, why would you do that? Start now. Honestly, you don't even need a gym to get healthy. You can go outside and go for a run, man. Go for a little jog. Take your dog on a jog. And that's totally free. And you know what else is free? A free diet and training program. Click the link in the description. Giving you a free close to 50 page program. Diet and training, both. Everything you know to get out and get into your shape of your life right now. Be proactive with your health. Get there, get the free program, and get started on your fitness journey today. Then there's the obvious mistake of not having a single <laughs> clue of what you're doing. I'm sorry, not to be a jerk or anything, but uh, you're completely using that machine wrong. Imagine grabbing the ball to go up to a woman and telling her she's doing something wrong at the gym. Yeah, you might want to help her, but would anyone do that right now, especially with a camera rolling? Are you kidding me? Third biggest mistake I made this year was once I finally did feel comfy with the form, I did this lovely little thing called ego lifting. And so you go to the gym and what do you do? You start ego lifting. You're comparing yourself to other people. You see people lifting more than you and you put on more weight. You want to impress the boys, the girls, or even yourself. That's not how to train. Put on a lighter weight that you can control, learn how to perform the exercise properly before progressive overloading and lifting heavier than last time. And unlike Mike O'Hearn, you don't need to train super heavy. You don't have to go for one rep maxes or lifting sets of one to eight. Sets of 10 to 20, both safe, effective, and going to help you build both strength and muscle size. And so why lift heavy? Avoid eagle lifting, avoid getting injured, and lift longer than last time. The second year, this was the year I decided to compete. And remember, I've warned you, 25% of people that compete in sports involving weight classes develop an ED. And which one do you think is the worst of all? Well, think of bodybuilding, bikini competitions, men's physique, and so on. These people, they're being judged on being excessively shredded with huge muscles, with pressure to have even more muscles by using performance-enhancing drugs. And so if you get into being a competitor, please be aware. Your ego, it's going to suffer. And once you get shredded and you compare yourself once you regain the weight, you're most likely not going to like how you looked. 
And so if you think that getting shredded for once is going to make you somehow love your body, it's not. You're never going to be satisfied. Not even Chris Bumstead loves his body. He wants to do better. And if he can't win, well, he's going to retire. And so bodybuilding, fitness, and so on, it's all about the journey. And so it's why I keep preaching, please main gain. Don't diet down to single digit body fat, bulk and cut, bulk and cut. Why? Because when you bulk up, you're going to look in the mirror, compare yourself to when you're shredded. And you're going to think, oh, I feel fat. And so rather than doing that, just maintain a healthy weight. I would have cheat days. My problem with this was that once I slipped even just a little, even if I just had something as small as a little cookie, I would say, well, I already messed up my diet for the day. So cook. I'm going to just keep going. No one has the willpower to eat perfectly 365 days a year. And so eventually you're going to eat something off of your diet. Perhaps it's cookies, chips, candies, cake, ice cream, pizza, burgers, fries, you name it. And once you taste that delicious food, oftentimes it's a slippery slope. You can't stop eating. Then you start binging. You binge perhaps 5,000 calories. And then what happens? Well, you go and visit the toilet to do number three. And before you know it, now you have an ED. And remember, it's not a problem with the downstairs. If you do have a problem with the downstairs, we have something called Harder Than Last Time. It's a bottle that I don't have. I don't have any of my supplements. I don't have anything. I can't go to my house, can't get my medications. I can't do anything. I can just live and exist, which is still good. At least I have a house. And so if you're interested in my Harder Than Last Time supplement or any supplement, remember, enter code GREG 10% off. And you know what I would do the next day? I would punish myself with either a ridiculous amount of cardio or I would starve myself. And so if you didn't end up doing Number three, well, now what are you going to do? Well, you're going to punish yourself. You ate 5,000 calories. You're on a diet. Oh, no, I, I binge. What am I going to do now? Well, you could perhaps burn off. Let's do five hours of cardio or let's not eat. This pattern is more common than you think. I didn't know back then that the gym is not a punishment. The gym is a privilege. Exactly. The gym is not a punishment. It is a reward. And so imagine the millions of people laying in a hospital bed wishing they had the health and fitness that you do and so that they could get out there and explore the world. But you know you just want to sit down like a couch potato and do nothing. How dare you? How dare you neglect your body? You don't even want to do cardio. Imagine the millions, if not billions of people that would trade positions with you right now. And so I think you not only owe it to other people, you owe it to yourself. Get out there and be active. Don't abuse your body. Don't think you need to be perfect to have single digit body fat or to take performance enhancing drugs to look like that. But please be the best version of yourself. Final mistake of my second year was that I hated my body no matter what I looked like. And so once you set foot on the stage, she entered a bikini competition, looked amazing. Perhaps it's Chris Bumstead, won the Mr. Olympia title. But after that competition, you can't remain at 5% body fat. It's not healthy. And so you have to regain the weight. And so if you compare yourself to others, or perhaps like Alex Eubank compares himself to himself, his best physique ever, I don't ask for too much. I just want to look the best I've ever looked all the time. Well, you can't. Sorry, it doesn't work like that. I looked amazing. I look back now and I'm like, oh my gosh, I look so good. But to me, I was just never lean enough. Leaner is not better. It's not a competition to see who can have the lowest percent body fat. Being 6% doesn't make you better than someone who's 8 or 10 or 12. Now remember, 15% body fat for most people, that's very healthy. That is what I suggest. For aesthetics, possibly perhaps 10 to 12%, but you don't need single digits. It's not healthy for the vast majority of people. You're not going to feel good. You're going to have lower testosterone levels, less energy, brain fog, inability to sleep proper. And so why try to do something that's so unhealthy for your body? I gained a lot of weight back very quickly. And eventually, that's what developed cookbook. And so she went to therapy for months to heal from this. Remember, she can't speak openly about it because YouTube, it doesn't want us to talk about these things as if it's bad, as if telling people the truth. This is what I went through. This is what I experienced. This is what I did. How is that bad? And so unfortunately, we can't talk about this in detail. But if you're experiencing any of these issues right now, please go and tell someone, try to get some counseling, try to work it out. You don't need to be perfect. You don't need to starve yourself. You don't need to go to the toilet to do number three. The next thing was that I was partying. I was partying way too much. Oh my God. And so partying harder than last time, obviously it's going to slow down your gains. If you're up till five in the morning and hung over the next day, if you even get up the next day, how can you expect to go to the gym? Last I checked, if you're not getting enough sleep, you're not eating, eating crap the next day. Oftentimes people get up and eat pizza or whatever, or they're making poor decisions when they're drunk. Well, how is that going to affect your body? 
It's only going to make it worse. And so please party responsibly. Remember, everything is about moderation. It's not about being perfect, not saying you can't do anything, but please do it responsibly. But what do we know about alcohol? It destroys muscle. In case you didn't know, alcohol is a poison, man. Yes, absolutely. Alcohol is a poison. To me, it's a drug. I don't know why we consider it to be something that's okay to talk about. For some reason, people say marijuana, shrooms, or other drugs are so bad when the worst drug of all, the drug that's affecting the most people in the world right now is alcohol. Think of the drinking and driving that goes on, domestic abuse and so on. And so to me, alcohol, certainly a drug that people need to be very cautious with more than last time. If you don't have a specific goal and aren't training for a specific goal, then you're not going to see any results. And so to me, if you want to set goals, that's great. But if you have no exact goal in mind, just do it to be healthy. Your goal is to be healthy. 150 minutes of moderately intense cardio week, that's about zone two cardio. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's not hit cardio, but it's certainly not easy. It's not going for a walk with your grandma. And so on top of doing cardio, you should be aiming to train each muscle in your body twice a week. And so if you're going to the gym, lifting weights, full body twice a week, doing cardio, 150 minutes of cardio week, and if you're eating a healthy diet, well, you've got it made. Well, of course, there are other things you could work on, but those are the main ones that I recommend. And remember, if you don't know what you're doing, click the link in the description, giving a, a free diet and training program. It's close to 50 pages. Enter your first and last name and email address, and you're getting a free training program just for you right now. And if you're looking for supplements, there are so many you could take. You could be taking pre-workouts, protein powders, creatine monohydrate, beta alanine, and so on. But the number one recommended supplement that I'm going to tell you to take, GO2 max, the main ingredient, NMN, shown in double-blind, placebo-controlled human studies to improve your cardio, to give you more energy, lower your blood pressure, decrease cholesterol. And this can possibly help you to live longer. And so imagine you're taking a supplement that gives you more energy. You're more likely to go to the gym. You're more likely to go longer and to train harder and burn off more calories. And so to me, despite it not actually being a fat burner, it's the number one supplement that can help to lower your genetic set point, burn off more calories, and help you to be healthier than last time. Interested in GO2 Max? Code Greg, 10% off. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algo. Do you like my new recording studio? You see any animals that you like? Don't forget to watch one of the boops. And remember, the training books, the cookbooks, the coaching plans by me and my team, the circle diet book, it's my life work, how to lose weight, keep it off for the rest of your life, as well as the HTLT clothing line. We got shirts like this. You can see with the red circle, we include it for everybody. Please head over to my website, code Greg, 10% off. And until next time, I am out.